While last time, Bullwinkle had tossed Rocky high into the air in a desperate attempt to intercept the misguided missile which was carrying, of all people, fearless leader himself. But the evil-minded villain thought Rocky was an American anti-missile missile and so began to assemble his secret weapon, an anti-anti-missile missile missile. Let's see. Put tab C in slot A, bend flap G. Donavetta, this is the last secret weapon I ever got out of a cereal box. But the plucky squirrel, unaware of his danger, caught up with the speeding satellite and tried to slow it down. Boris, that is our fearless leader up there. You were expecting Werner von Braun? Oh, I hope he gets down all right. Me too, because if he doesn't get down, I'll be the fearless leader and I... Oh, boy! Boris, where are you going? I got to stop that squirrel. He's ruining my career. And Boris, anxious for promotion, dashed out of the house. If I can just keep Fearless Leader orbiting from now on, I get to wear monocle. High above, Rocky was pushing against the nose cone, trying to slow it down, but to no avail. And inside, Fearless Leader had finished assembling his anti-anti-missile-missile-missile missile and was aiming it directly at the unwitting squirrel. Fortunately, at that moment, Rocky happened to spot an old lady far below him who was trying to cross the street. Of course, for a real live TV hero, helping old ladies across the street comes before anything else in the world. So Rocky left his post just as Phyllis Leader pulled the trigger. Of course, he missed. But the recoil was enough to stop the forward motion of the satellite. And can any of you guess what that meant? Any Pottsylvanian schoolchild could tell you. When the progressive inertial momentum of an orbiting vehicle is diminished, the gravitational declination increases as pi times the quantity V over H. Which means... I fall down. And indeed, the missile dropped like a stone. Meanwhile, Rocky had just finished helping the old lady across the street. Is this where you want to go, ma'am? You said it. I mean, yes, indeed, you do the deed, you little fellow. You sure got a deep voice for an old lady. I know. I've been feeling low for days. Oh, I'm sorry. You sure this is where you want to go? Believe me, I'm in exactly the right spot. And he was. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. <laughs> 